Greetings and welcome to the Thursday Morning Vodcast podcast. I can show you the world. And stop. Hey guys, how are all you Billy Bumblers doing out there this morning? Really is a tongue twister. Hey, I have had a few very active and busy days. I got a lot of things I want to talk about briefly, and then I'll let you go. I have been constantly editing. <laughs> Any free moment that I have, except for the last two days, has been spent editing High From Space, which is fun, and it's exciting, and it's, it's something new. So it's definitely something to look forward to. When I have something, I'll show you. Uh, yesterday, no, what's, what's today? So two days ago was my uh, son Grayson's 14th birthday, and we'd planned to do a lot right on his birthday. We were going to take him to uh, Putt-Putt. He loves going on the go-karts there and just driving around like a maniac. Unfortunately, it rained, so his one-day uh, birthday celebration turned into two days, which is always fun, like when you get a little extra day out of your birthday. Um, so here's him zooming around on the cars. Here's him with his new drone. Let's bring it over to the sidewalk and land, Teddy. Yep. Maybe we can just use it as a lawnmower. Aww. Do you like it? I love it! <laughs> and here's another shot of him, which I'm not sure what he's doing in this one. When the music starts, your car will activate and you will enter the spin zone. Five, four, three, Here we go. two, one. Yeah, so it was a totally radical two days for him. And I, I think we tried to do everything in our power to make it a, uh, an amazing birthday for him because um, normally, I hate to say this, but normally we're pretty poor. <laughs> we scrape to get by. But since the pandemic started, and I'll be completely honest, we got tax breaks and we got stimulus checks and we were really smart about them this year. You know, we didn't go buy, you know, cocaine or prostitutes with it. My son Griffin's birthday is in March. Usually we get taxes right before his birthday, so we have a, a nice tax refund, and it's easy to give him a good birthday. But when, you know, June rolls around, it's not as easy because we're back to the point again where we're just trying to make ends meet, uh, which, is, which is, you know, I know there's a solution to that. Some things aren't as easily done as they are said. But I'm not here to talk about my wealth inequality. We had a, a super fun two days, and I was really happy to be able to just, like, focus for once in a while. I put aside the editing, I put aside any other work I needed to get done, and I focused on making his days the best as I could. And they made my days very memorable too, so... <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> now, uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about this morning is uh, these birds dying. There doesn't seem to be a lot of attention to it. It's, it's starting to build now. Um, about as of as of two or three days ago, six states there have been a drastic increase in death of birds, um, and it's definitely 
something that's related to all birds. It's not West Files have tested them for West Nile. It's not the avian influenza. They've tested them for that. Scientists cannot figure out why it's happening. Uh, and Virginia, where I live, is one of the six states. Um, I don't know if it's expanded. I haven't read anything up on it since then. But for what I understand, their eyes start to get crusty. Kind of like, a, almost like you get a, a pink eye or something like that. They go blind, they stop flying, and they stop reacting to humans. Uh, scientists have asked people to bring in their bird feeders and their bird water rivers and uh, to try to stay away if you see dead birds or, or birds that are acting funny, to just stay away from them because they don't know what it is. And after COVID, I'm pretty sure they don't want to see that happen again. But we need to get our numbers down before the Delta decides to morph again into, you know, uh, whatever as next. What's F? So you got Alpha, Beta. I don't know the rest of those either. I don't know Latin. I wish I knew Latin because then I could summon demons and send them after my enemies. Anywho, I think this is all predicted by Ice Cube. A few years ago, he put out a song called Everything's Corrupt. And in that song, he included a lyric that went a little something like this. This shit is wild. Chickens getting as sick as the cows. Birds falling out the sky. Fish dying in piles. Um, our Earth, this virus, and many other things, pollen, bees, um, not bees, but all these things, I feel like the Earth is done with us. It, it is through with our chicanery, our tomfoolery, and it's time for us to get a new planet. Or I, I, I think the planet's just going to wipe us out pretty soon. I feel like global warming. I feel like viruses and 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 uh, 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 I feel like a lot of things are against us very natural things lately and I think we're getting exactly what we deserve after punishing this earth for the last you know x amount of years hundred thousand who knows I don't know anything you don't know anything he doesn't know anything I don't know anything <laughs> okay so let's recap for a minute here I've got four videos I want to create before the end of July and you're just gonna to have to be patient with me because I'm working on something that requires more of my attention than this does at the moment so the vodcast podcast might be a you know um, twice a week thing but these four videos are the four videos I want to spend some time with and make them good videos so that I can produce something interesting for you to watch and one is the the sequel to the sequestered which I have just basically put all the files into um, a sequence uh, and then there's the Iron Giant, which I've got my sandpaper, I got my Iron Giant, I got my palette ready to go, I got my, my brushes that I want in here. So that's going to be coming up. Uh, thirdly is the Death Nuts, the checkers that Rick Brady, the producer slash seducer, sent me. Um, that's, that's something I need to find somebody to play with. And, and, and Carol has offered to play it with me, but I, I'm almost tempted to just be like, all right, you can just use these peanuts and I'll use these peanuts because... She don't know heat like I know heat. God damn, I know the heat. I have felt the burn. And I will tell you, it, it's not fun. Uh, so my plan with the with the uh, the Death Nuts checkers is basically um, I will probably once again chew them up and then spit them out because I have a lot of tummy troubles when that heat gets down there. And I'm not talking about, you know, the gross part of things. I'm just talking about the pain that comes in my stomach. I have a very, uh, I don't want to say a weak stomach because I can eat a lot of crap and 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 my stomach's just like whatever whatever but as you get older that that it, invincibility slowly starts to go away and heat is um it does a number on you a few weeks ago uh carol and i went out to eat for the first time and i got uh on my chicken i got the extra hot and there's two levels i believe above it there, there's some gradients in between there but basically you know eventually you end up with the carolina reaper and the extra hot was nothing it was I, I feel like I could have just gone with the most hottest one and I would have been absolutely fine my tolerance for heat is still there but my tummy is given up it's thrown in the towel so um it's coming I just need somebody to play with and I need someone to understand when they play this that they could end up in a world of pain well before I leave you guys in a world of pain I'm going to wrap this up I hope you guys are enjoying watching these as much as I'm enjoying making them. And if you are, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Podcast Podcast. Take care, and boy howdy. <laughs>